Hello there, I am Giant Cobra from more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last post, we started the Rocket Hideout. And in this part, we're going to finish it, because we're like, nearing the end, actually. So let's take on these Rocket Grunts right here. So yeah, I know you. You ruined our plans at Mount Moon. Yes, I did. And I ruined them again. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. So this guy's a Sand Shrew, level 23, okay? I think it should be a Sand Slash by now, because I think it was like level 22. But yeah, let's take on this thing and use flamethrower on it. There we go, when it came out, nice. Firefox and all of 31, yay. Team Rocket Green is about to use Sand Slash, okay. We'll trade, we'll go to Giant Green for this. Let's go use, uh, you just raise leaf, I guess. Of course, a miss. Okay. Raise leaf hits this time. Good. You scratch on us, which didn't do too much damage. Super effective, yay. Ekans, okay, we'll stay in. Then you use intimidate. Yeah, it does intimidate, of course. Switch that with that, yeah, and uh, tackle. Just gonna square, which will paralyze giant green, uh, giant green. Dang it! One more tackle should do it. It's gonna, it's gonna use a wheel on us, of course. Nope, tries to can't move. Dang it! Can use Leo again. There we go, nice. Now Giant Green is level to 31. Cool. Ah, spoiled the Ganesh, don't thank you for that. I, can't, I didn't read the first word. Thanks for $7.36 though. Okay, let's see what else we got. Trouble Cuff and use the Pearls here on Giant Green real quick. So Pearls here, there we go. There we go, nice. So now we have Trouble Cuff in front. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? <laughs> because I don't believe in it, you're doing bad things. You're being irresponsible, Team Rocket. There we go, that gun's cool. Let's use a uh, Thunderbolt on this thing, I guess. There we go, one account, nice. Sand true, okay. Let's use a uh, Mega Punch on this thing. Just Poison Sting on us. Mega punch again. There we go. Quick I'll take it. Or Bach, okay. Let's just have a beam on this thing go all out. <laughs> Here we go. This game's clear on us, of course. Okay, we'll use um, Thunderball on this thing. Get a bite on us. There we go, nice. Ay ay ay. Okay, thanks for the seven dollars and thirty-six cents. Really appreciate it, man. So let's see. Let's use a. I think we want to send a. Or giant green up to the front. I could be wrong about this. It's using the pearls heal on uh, Treble Cuff though. Okay, let's talk to this guy. 
So, I must say, I'm impressed with what you got here. Team Rockets captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your, ins for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Okay. So the Onyx, okay, yeah, I was right. Send like a water grass type up front, really. Let's go for the, um... Let's go for Giga Drain just so we can also destroy some HP too. Nice. There we go, nice. There we go. Rhyhorn, oh we gotta stay in. Of course we're gonna stay in. Let's go for the Vine Whip. I think Vine Whip will faint this thing. Yeah, critical are awesome. Cool. Khan. I guess we can stay in. Let's use um, Raise Leaf on this thing. Maybe get critical hit or something. I'm gonna use Tail Whip to, to, or Defense by one, or Giant Green's Defense by one. You know, I gotta keep him and try and Raise Leaf until we get a critical hit or, critical hit or something. See, this King Kong's Khan is kind of tough. Uh, the three Pokemon he has, Rhyhorn and Onyx, are not that hard to take down. But the King of Kong is a different story. Wow. Dang. Yeah, because that's the same type of attack bonus, too. Let's go with Triple Cuff then. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. I think that this will be like a ground type Pokemon, but it's not. It's like a normal type instead. Let's go for the Hyper Beam. It's gonna bite on us. Flinched, of course. Just gonna use Mega Punch. Yeah, there we go. There we go, nice. You got the King's Kong, cool. I don't forget it gets like 1,887 experience points. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, play defeated boss Giovanni. What? I can't. This can't be. Thanks for the dollars, man. I see that you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we, I hope we meet again. Yep, and he was the self scope too. So that's like the item we needed to get through uh, Pokemon Tower because before there was ghosts just appearing, but now with the self scope we can see them and actually become Pokemon and stuff. Like Ghastly for example. So yeah, let's go to the first basement floor again. They're not here, there's a Team Rocket going right here. So that's cool I guess. Switch to Mimean. Yeah. Are you looking are you lost, you little mouse? No, I'm actually on my way out. Thank you very much. I'm not lost at all. Your Team Rocket Grunt. Okay, here's a Grimer. Now that I have four badges, I think my mean will obey me again after level 30. So that's good, up to level 50, so that's nice. That, so, that's good. Because you're not to trade a Pokemon and whatnot. Coughing, okay. Side Beam, okay. There we go, nice. Why? Because I beat you, <laughs> obviously, in a Pokemon battle. Thanks for $7.04. With that clunk you heard, the gate's actually not there anymore, it opened up. And then this guy would also be another Pokemon trainer that was facing you on the way out, but I already took him out. I took him on at the last part, really. At the very beginning, really. So that's where he was at, at the very beginning of the hideout. So now that we're done in the, high, the game corner, I'm gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick. And probably store away some items too. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so I stored like my Moonstone that I found in the Rakahara and my um, Max Ether, I believe. Stuff like that. So yeah, here's the transitional building. Hey, uh, oh, that tea looks awfully tasty. Huh? I, I can have a I can have this drink. The G thanks. Glug glug glug. <laughs> Gulp. 
Um, I want to, if you want to go to Saffron City, you can go through. You can go on through. I'll share this tea with other guides. Cool, now we can actually get into Saffron City. And just because I want to, I also want to visit the Pokemon Center real quick. So, just so it's on, just so we can fly back here. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we visited it, we can actually go back to it using fly now. So here's Mr. Psychic's house. Let's talk to him. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. We got TM29 for Mr. Psychic. Got to put that in the TM case that you already know, don't you? TM29 is Psychic. It's an attack that may also lower the target's special stats. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's teach that to um, my and I guess. So yeah, a um, mummy wants to learn the move Psychic, sure, for moves, which do we, um, do we, and replaced with Psychic, yes, which move should be forgotten. Let's give it a confusion. Yeah. One, two, and poof, my mummy forgot confusion, and machine set. My mummy learns Psychic, awesome. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, everyone's level 31 except for Mushroom, of course, so that's pretty cool. While we're here, I want to sell stuff at the Pokemon real quick. Oh, there's a Pokemon, yeah. I think this, um, this, uh, you can also buy, like, Ultra Balls here, too. Oh, Great Balls, never mind, okay. Let's buy some Hyper Potions, though, real quick and stuff. Let's buy, like, three more Hyper Potions. Uh, Revives, we'll buy, like, three more. Full heals will buy like six, I guess. Should we get on max? Uh, should we should we get on escape ropes? Right, yeah, five. Okay. So then the max repels we have. Um, guess we can buy like five, I guess, for now. There we go. That's good. Um, so. Um, so the X speed and the pearl. Yeah, okay. So that's cool, I guess. I meant to organize my bag here. So, put that right there. Full heals can go right here. Yeah, okay. And as you see, Team Rocket's also here in Saffron City. They buck in the gym, except for the fighting dojo, which we'll get to, I guess, later. But yeah, so, um, we'll just make our way back to Lavender Town, I guess. Which is, we have to get through Route 8, obviously, right here. So I'll just do that. We are back in Lavender Town. We could obviously just phone back here, but that's okay. I want to take on our fifth rival battle now. I'm pretty sure it's our fifth rival battle. Here is Pokemon Tower. Okay, here is our rival, Matt. So I want to make sure I have a. Um, just gonna probably start with this Pidgeotto or something. So I'm gonna go to Trouble Cough then. Because Trouble Cough has Thunderbolt. <laughs> Let's take him on. Uh, hey Steven, what brings you here? It's your po is, your, is your Pokemon dead? No. Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. That's so terrible for you to say that, man. You're a jerk. Oh, your Pokemon's not dead? At least I can make him faint. That's not very nice. And I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna like... I think this battle is meant to go right, right when you get into Lavender's Town, you go to, to Pokemon Tower, you see a rival, you battle him. I'm way over leveled according to him, but you can battle him at any time you want, really, at this point. That's what I decided to do, so this is going to be a quick battle, really, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is, oh, cute charm even, even took effect, well. I think, I think Matt's doomed for this battle because I'm, like, way stronger than him compared to his team at this point. So, you know, it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
Gyarados, okay. Why would you send out Gyarados knowing that I have Thunderbolt? Don't you know what type moves are four times super effective on your Gyarados? Because it's water and flying as its type matchup or type type. So let's go Thunderbolt then. So we're level 22, yeah. I'm starting to think that this, yeah, this is the battle. You want to battle him right after, right when you get to Lavender Town, not when you get the fourth gym badge, you beat the Rocket Hunt, Hideout, you get HMO Fire and all that stuff. But I just have the advantage, I guess. That's good. Trubacuff is now level 32. Just execute, okay. We'll go to Firefox for that one. Oh, sorry. I have Flamethrower. Sorry. It executes on level 23. I like one-shotting all his Pokemon. It's kind of funny. Kadab, okay. We'll go to, um... We'll go to Airbender, I guess. This guy is only level 20. Wow, okay. Let's go for the Aerial Ace. There we go, one hit kill. Nice. Charmeleon. Let's go to, I guess, Mimeon. So level 25, yeah. I kind of have the total advantage here. Let's just psych on this thing. There we go, nice. That was a nice battle, Matt. Way to go. Glad you could play. <laughs> yeah, what? You stinker. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm a stinker. I'm just overleveled. Because uh, I, I didn't battle you as soon as I got to Lavender Town. <laughs> it took it, it, it took it easy. I took it on easier, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I won't shot like all your Pokemon and you say that. Okay, how's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Malawak. Uh, where can they be? I bet there aren't any left. Oh, if only you knew and understood. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I'd better get going. I have a lot to accomplish. With unlike you, smell you later. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see here. I I really only I really only catch my sixty Pokemon at when, right after the Elite Four, really. Because that's when I go on like get catching speed away. Because I can go with the the items like the rewards, like the item finder, the experience share, stuff like that. That help you, that give you like motivation to catch Pokemon. So that's why my Pokedex not is not the greatest, honestly. Yeah, the only item I was really wor um, wanting to get was you know ten Pokemon for the um, HM5 Flash. So yeah, let's let's put this yeah. Let's put um, my meme up to the front. Yeah. So I'm in the part right here. So let's put them on Pokemon Leaf Green. Uh, Redo walk through that part. Next part we'll take on Lost Tower. Pokemon Tower, I should say. And hopefully we can finish it in one part. Maybe it takes two. Do like everything else in this walk the guide. But that's okay. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walk through guide.